Hey, what's up guys, how's it up here? And today I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks that you can use if your phone has started to hang or doesn't work as fast as it used to when it came fresh out of the box. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this. So while there can be many reasons why your phone has started to hang or doesn't work as fast as it used to, uh, some of them are, okay, the first thing that you really need to do is go into your Play Store and then uh, just check whether you have auto update on for your apps. So scroll down to settings here and then scroll down and then you find, uh, sorry, yeah, you find this. So you need to set this to do not auto update apps. Um, if you keep updating apps, so basically your storage gets filled up and that's one of the main reasons why uh, phones start to hang or basically slow down. So yeah, your phone will not be using data for checking new updates and then updating the apps automatically. This is the very first thing that you need to do and you need to change. So the second thing that you can do is uh, go into your phone settings and then scroll down to accounts and then scroll all the way down until you find automatically sync data. That is the option that you need to turn off. Okay, turn off because this basically so what what the apps doing in the background is uh, they're basically sharing data with each other um, Say you have PUBG or any other game that you use So if you sign in using your Google account or anything, so they're exchanging data in the background So if your phone is really not working as it used to before so you may turn this off Yeah, so it's gonna save from a data being transferred in the background so the next thing you can do is um, go into your developer options. Now if you do not know how to put on developer options, uh, you just need to find uh, something called uh, the what is it, bill number and tap this tap on this seven times and then you will get your developer options. So once you have your developer options, just tap on that and then now go all the way down. This, what I'm going to show you only mimics the speed. So uh, it doesn't actually increase speed or anything. So yeah, this is the animation scale. You can turn it off, like turn it off for all of these. So uh, if I wanna, okay, if I turn it to five, you see, okay. the animation has increased by a lot. Your phone feels a lot slower now. If I increase it to 10, it's awfully slow, yeah. So you need to turn it off so that it feels really quick. See that? Now it feels quick. So you turn everything off, it feels really quick. See that? So yeah, uh, this only mimics uh, the speed. Okay, now if your phone is really slow, like you need to speed this thing up. Like if you don't do it, you will have to buy a new phone and you don't wanna spend cash. So what you wanna do is you wanna limit background process. So uh, let me just focus here, yeah. You wanna scroll down in the same developer options until you find a uh, background process limit. I hope you can see that, yeah. Background process limit. You want to touch that and then go to no background process. So this is just going to kill all your background processes. It's not going to be sharing data to any app. Nothing's going to be going on in the background. So yeah, just turn this on only when you're real desperate about speed and you have just like tried everything and nothing works. And the very last thing that you can try is, um, let's go back. So um, let's say you don't use uh, some of the Google apps. Um, okay, let's just take any random app for example. Okay, let's say you don't use YouTube so often. I mean, you don't use YouTube at all. Or say you don't use Play Music, you use Spotify. So Play Music is simply consuming RAM and it's, it's basically useless sitting there. And as you cannot delete this app, uh, all you can do is just long press on that press the info button, you can disable it, just disable the app. It will basically uninstall. So now you cannot use Google Play Music because it's basically uninstalled from your device, it's, it's gone. So yeah, if you do not use any app, any system app, I mean, you can just simply, uh, what do you say, you can simply disable the app, sorry, you can just simply disable the app from here. So yeah, um, I'm not saying that you should really disable all the apps, but disable the apps and also delete the apps which you do not use very often so that uh, your phone's storage is clear and uh, it's running smooth. 
so yeah guys that, those are all the tips that I had to give you guys so you will definitely feel your phone being faster and it will also consume lesser battery so all in all it's a win-win but only do those only do this one developer options thingy only do that if you're really desperate for speed this one I showed you background processes do this only when you're really desperate for speed if you do not want to buy a new phone and your phone right now the phone you own right now is really just it's it's devastating so yeah yeah guys this is it this has been it these are the ways you can make your old crappy phone faster again so yeah thanks for watching guys uh, please share the video for with your friends and family to let them know about this cool trick and i'll catch you in the next one